O'Shea Jackson Jr., so yes. cool to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, I love that you describe this film as a pay-per-view of monster <laughs> movies. Yeah. <laughs> Please explain. It's just, you know, I, I know I'm, I'm a Godzilla fan, and we, the American Godzillas, you know, we have the, the one in 98, we got 2014. We try to ignore the one in 98, but the one in 2014, <laughs> you know, it kind of... It teased the fact that we were doing new Godzilla films where he's actually going against other monsters, yeah. other titans. And the Mudos were a new creature, you know, never seen before. And so it, it gave us a taste. And, you know, as fans, we were dying for to see some of the monsters we knew. And then in the next one, we get Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidorah. Like, you, you, you can't ask for more. It's, it's pay-per-view. You don't just get that. You also get O'Shea Jackson Jr. That is, you know, I keep asking for my name in parentheses, but they, they're telling me that it's already, the posters are made. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that that's the cream of the crop to me. It's, it's, it's the fact that I get the Godzilla movie I've been asking for, and then, oh yeah, that's me. I'm like, oh yeah, I get to be in it. You know, that's the that's the plus. So, I mean, when you were doing the Straight Outta Compton promo, mm -hmm. people kept saying to you, who are your heroes? Mm -hmm. You mentioned Godzilla. Yes. They call you and go... You're going to be in the film. What yeah. is your reaction when you get that call? Uh, I was doing Den of Thieves at the time, and I remember thinking, like, this is what we got into acting for. You know, <laughs> stuff like this. Like, this is what I'm talking about. And this early in my career, to be able to to reel one in like Godzilla is, uh, you know, it's super important. It, it's, it's amazing when your childhood and your adulthood get to meet up, yeah. you know? And it's, it's cool. It's, it's a sign that I'm on the right path got the right team around me and uh, hopefully it means more things to come for me. Yeah, well, I love, I've been watching you on this promo tour and a lot of journalists have been asking you about your obsession with Game of Thrones and one of the yeah. journalists actually yeah. said to you, O'Shea, you know, if you were to go into the battle, do you think you'd win? And I loved your response. Your response said, your response was, I'm never not going to bet on Shay. Yeah, never in my life. Can you give us some advice on how to do that? Because so many of us don't bet mm. on ourselves and in order to get you need to bet on yourself. Yeah, it's uh, it comes from another one of the of the heroes that I used to list during that Straight Outta Compton promo was uh, Goku, and he comes from a, a anime by the name of Dragon Ball, and then Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. But Goku, even when he felt like, yeah, we're probably about to lose, he you never see him sweat. You know, it's just like, are right, you? If not me, then who? Yeah. And when it comes to your life, when it comes to your dream and everything that you're doing, if you can't bet on you, you've already lost. So you'll never see me sweat, even if I'm inside like, oh, this is gonna be bad. You you just can't show it, you gotta have confidence. Uh, you go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life that you've imagined. I love it. And I Henry love, David Thoreau. I also love the advice that your dad gave you. He's been giving you lots of advice, but mm -hmm. the one that really stuck uh, with me was that he said you can't say yes to everything in yeah. this world where we're told you have to say yes because if you don't say yes you're gonna miss out mm -hmm. how do you say no it's a uh, it's a battle I he's still on me about it you know I uh, even when I, I put too much work on myself you know a schedule that's too tight or anything I won't notice it I'll just think like this is part of it you know this is paying your dues and he's got to be my my no button you know sometimes yeah. and you know, it's 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 a balance. It's a balance of knowing what you can do and you know what you don't have to do. And I just never wanted, I never want anybody to say that Shay didn't put in the work. You know, that's just always been me. But you have to figure out when you have to be selfish and you have to take those times for self. You know, because uh, you're the only one looking out for you. And finally, tell me that you and your dad are teaming up on Rocky Mountain High. Yeah. What's going on? Tell me. Yeah, Rocky Mountain High is a, a script my dad's had for a minute. And uh, he, you know, time just kind of just met up. And it was just like, you know, this would be actually be perfect for me and you. And, you know, I've been dying for that. You know, I've been acting for four years now. And so I, I feel like I, I've gotten my feet wet a little bit. So it's time, you know, let's get it going. It's going to be a comedy and uh, yeah, keep them, keep them rolling. Cannot wait to talk to you about that. In the meantime, we can see you fighting the big monsters yes. in Godzilla, King yeah. of Monsters. <laughs>